Hi, welcome to Pilates. My name is Kim Hillard and today we're going to do an advanced class. So if you've not done Pilates before, you can modify this, but it's gonna move quite a bit faster and we're gonna kind of move into some more advanced moves. So maybe try a little more of a basic or a beginner's class before you try this one or try it, see how it goes. Make sure that you are modifying where you need to. Remember, I'm always looking for that precision of movement over range of motion. So you need to do something smaller to get it accurate. That's much better than doing something really big without control or without um, that precision. So we do not typically wear our shoes for Pilates. You can if you need to. We will start standing and then we'll take it down to the mat in a little while. We're gonna work on balance, breathing, everything from the core out. So when you're thinking about Pilates today, I want you to think about your entire powerhouse. So from rib cage to hips, all the way around, all of this is your powerhouse. So when I extend an arm or lift a leg, I actually think about that originating right there in the powerhouse. That's what Joe Pilates, you know, my good old buddy Joe, would have us kind of think about. So even when I'm talking about pulling your abdominals up and in, I want you to think about them originating in between your legs, right? So everything is engaged. That posture is good and we're working um, from the core out, from the powerhouse out. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna come into something called first position and that's where we rock back onto our heels and open those toes wide, heels are together, zip up those legs, shoulders back and down. Okay, let's get started. I'd like you to bring your feet close together, rock back under your heels and open your toes. This is first position if you're a dancer or a Pilates V. So from there, from the heels up, I want you to squeeze all the light out, pull your shoulders back and down, stack the spine, and make sure your hips are in neutral. So I'm not tucking forward or back, but just nice and neutral. Make sure your neck is in neutral as well. I'm not tucking too far forward or squeezing it back. Everything's just nice and pretty here, nice and tall. Let's inhale in through the nose and exhale, blow that out through pursed lips where you can hear that breath. Again, inhale, let the rib cage expand east to west, far apart from one another, and exhale, blow that air out, pulling that belly button up and in behind the sternum. Again, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, bigger, bigger, bigger. Exhale, blow it out, pull everything in tighter. Your whole body should kind of be engaging more and more with each breath. Again, inhale and exhale. Last time, inhale and exhale. Good, roll the shoulders, reach the arms long. Make sure you can see your thumbs out of your peripheral vision. Good, my right one always wants to sneak back there farther than the left. I'm gonna step forward so I have enough space behind me. Inhale, reach long. Exhale, keep your hips forward and twist to the back. One, two, and three small pulses. Inhale and exhale. One, two, three. Again, inhale and exhale. Twist, two, three. Inhale, make sure that your hips and the belly button down. Everything is staying right where it is. You're just twisting from the belly button up. One, two, three. Inhale. Inhale and exhale. One, two, three. Inhale, just warming up the torso here. Exhale, one, two, three. Again, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Good. One more time each direction. Inhale and exhale. One, two, three. Inhale and exhale. One, two, three. Three, stay right here, keep those arms out. Inhale and exhale around six, five, four, each breath is full circle. Three, inhale, exhale, two, and one. Reverse that, inhale behind, exhale around six, five, four, inhale, exhale, three, two, and one, good, bring those arms right in front of you. Inhale and exhale, rise up through the heels, 
and through the arms. Keep the heels together here. Two, three, four. Keep your toes spread out. Good. And last time like that. Now come all the way up. Get my head out of the screen if I go too high. Staying in that first position, all the way up onto those toes and down. Up, now hold, look, center, look, center, down. Again, inhale, exhale, up, all the way up onto your stilettos. Spread those toes out and down. And up, let's look the other way a couple of times. And down, again, up, look, center, look, center, down. Switch which direction you're looking here. And last time. Up, look, center, look, center, down. Perfect, roll those shoulders. Let's put the weight right into the left leg, point the right toe forward, shoulders back, arms where you need them for balance. So I'm gonna come nice and wide here like I'm holding a giant beach ball, keeping those hands and arms engaged, leading with the pointer finger, letting the other fingers kind of come around underneath. Point the toe, inhale, soft knee on the other leg, exhale, reach up, straight out, six, five, four, let the toe come down, three, two, and one. Now, without letting that toe come down, six more, six, five, balance all the way, and two, and one, straight out to the side, same thing, toe first, six, five, now just let it barely tap. Four, try not to press down or bend the knee. Three, two, and one. Now six, balanced, here we go. Six, inhale, exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. Straight to the back, I'm just turning so you can see that. Point the toe, inhale, and exhale, six again. Tapping each time, five, four, three, two, and one, stay balanced, six, five, don't let that toe come down if you can help it, and three, and two, and one, perfect, back to the front, uh, I think sideways may actually help you, so we're going to do a little bit of a combo move here, so we're going to bring the knee up, open it to the side, Rotate, ooh, use the balance there. Rotate so that the heel is leading toward the back. So I'm not up here, I'm back here. Now reach it back and tuck back through. Up, rotate, I mean open, rotate, squeeze back and tuck the knee back through. So we're trying to keep that balance all the way through. Grab the wall if you need it. Up, open, rotate first, then press back and come on in. Last time, up, open, rotate, push through and come back up, replace that foot. Perfect, we've got all that work to do on the other side. Forgot about that, didn't you? So go ahead and shift your weight over here, shoulders back, point that toe six times with that tap in between and then without it, six, five, pull those shoulders back, use those abdominals, and three, two, and one. Now let's do it balanced, here we go, squeeze up, six. It's typically a little bit more challenging on the second side. Four, three, two, and one, right out to that side, point the toe, find that little glute engage, right? Inhale and exhale, squeeze up, six, tap down, five, soft knee over here, four, three, two, and one. Now balance, six, five, four, three, two, and one, good. Turning to the back, or you can just keep it at the back. I just am not gonna hit the wall. Shoulders back, inhale and exhale, six. Tap that toe, five, 
four, three, two, and one. Keep it balanced, squeeze up, six. Abs tighter, five, four, three, two, and one. Now, back to the front. Now, you might want to just take your feet into parallel. I think I naturally did that before. We bring that knee up, open, rotate, push it through. All right, grab a wall if you need to, of course. Shoulders back, inhale, and exhale. Draw that knee up, open the hip, rotate back, flex the foot, squeeze straight back, and tuck back up. And open, and rotate, and press, and tuck back through. Use those abdominals. And back. Ooh, lost that. It's like a cricket crawling on the floor. Got me distracted. <laughs> and up. Open. Rotate. Press back. Good. You've got one more. Make it your best. Slowest, most accurate. Up. Open. Rotate. Extend. <laughs> and regain your balance and tuck it back up and down perfect wiggle the feet little ankle rolls there we're almost done we're going to come a little bit wider than hip distance in parallel i meant we're almost there for standing almost ready to go down to the mat reach those arms long inhale pull the abs up and in as you cross one arm over the other arm comes straight up Hinge down, pinky finger to the outside of the foot. One, two, three, small pulses. Use your abdominals to stack back up. Inhale and exhale, go the other way. One, two, and three, stack up. Inhale and exhale. Two, three, stack. Inhale and exhale. Two, three, back up. Inhale and exhale. Good. So use your abs. Make sure you're focusing on that breathing. We're warming up through the back side of the legs here. Inhale and exhale. Two, three. Good. Again, my fingers may tap the mat, but I'm not pushing off. One, two, three. And stacking back up. Again. One, two, three. Stack up. Inhale and exhale. One, two, three. Stack up. Leave your arms there. Turn your feet to parallel. I mean to um, an external rotation. So we're in a big plie position. And we're just going to do that. Six. Squat. Five. Four. Three. Use those abdominals. And two. Get a little deeper. And one, perfect. Come to the front edge of your mat. We're gonna come down onto our back. So reaching out, bring one leg back behind you. Toes are on the mat, knee, rock back, come into your 100 position. So we've got the abs in, the arms are reached long. Your position with the knees squeezed together, legs in tabletop. We're going to reach long through the head and neck, tuck that pencil under the chin, round up, looking at your own belly button and reaching those arms right out from the shoulders. So they're parallel with the shoulders. They're not too high, they're not too low, just reaching out. We are going to go through some breaths, inhaling for five, exhaling for five. We're gonna add a little bit of change through the legs as we go. So squeeze through, reaching long, and inhale, pat the water, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Squeeze those legs a little farther out, and exhale. Inhale just a little farther away, and exhale, five, four, three, two, one. A little farther, inhale, and exhale. Good, just extend those legs, keep the heels together, squeeze the light out, and exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Continue to press that small back into the mat, and exhale, good. Let's add a little movement here. So let's inhale down. And exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, 
three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. One more like that, squeezing down, small back staying in the mat, which might mean you can't go very deep. Now, let's do one leg at a time. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Again, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Just back to that 45 and exhale. Back to tabletop, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, two, done, good. Tuck the head down, knees in. If you're a counter, you know we did more than 100, told you it would be an advanced class. We're gonna go right into our double leg stretches, starting with bent legs. So knees are tucked right in, hands resting on the shins. Reach long through the head and neck, round up, placing that pencil under the chin again, rounding into as deep of a ball as you can. Now find that small back, really squeezing into the mat. Doesn't really have a choice, but keep it there because it does as we extend. Extend the arms and legs, and exhale, tuck back in. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Good work. Last time, and six. Good, double straight leg stretch. Now, if your legs are not straight, straight you are grabbing behind your thighs. If you can get them nice and straight, you can come as far up as you're comfortable with. Squeeze the small back in, squeeze the light out from between those thighs. Inhale to open and exhale, tuck back in. Continue that maintenance of that small back, pressing right into the mat. Four, squeeze those legs together. Five, last time. And six, good, bring the head down, rock and roll side to side. We've got those same two exercises to do single leg. So single bent leg and string, single straight leg stretch, a bit of a, a mouthful. And as we do so, I want you to pay attention to that head and neck. It's probably getting a little bit tired because I extended that 100. So if you need to bring it down to the mat, take that option. Another option is to place your hand right at the base of your hairline and let the head relax into the hand, keeping that elbow wide. Instead of rounding and pulling, I'm gonna let that head kind of relax into the hand. So that's an option. You'll just, you have to use only one leg on, I mean, only one hand on your leg. So I'm gonna extend one leg, bring the other knee tucked in close. So this is my right knee. My right hand or the outside hand comes around, goes right below the knee on the shin, not on the joint. And the other hand comes close to the ankle but also on the shin. I'm making sure that knee isn't tucked wide, but it's staying rather right in parallel. Reach long through the head and neck, round on up, looking at your own belly button. Let's do a double inhale as we pull, pull, exhale, switch, inhale, exhale, switch, inhale, exhale, switch. Good, one more each side. And exhale, switch. Perfect, now right into a straight leg stretch. So pull those abs in, feel that small back pressing in as straight as you can get. Again, if you've got some bend there, you've got a tight hamstring, the hands go behind the thigh. So all the way up, inhale and exhale, switch. Inhale, exhale. There's six. And six, good. Good news is the head gets to come down. Bad news is we're not done with abs. Squeeze the knees together, bring them to tabletop. Squeeze that small back in and we're gonna just let those toes tap down and come back up. Six, five, keep that small back pressed in. That might mean you don't actually touch. Remember the mat, you can kind of pretend that it's, you're dipping your toes in the water and it's too hot or too cold and you're coming right back up. Last time there, and one, good, now squeeze that small back in again and we're gonna do just the right side. Six, or your back leg. Five, four, three, are you breathing or holding your breath? Two, and one, let's switch to the other side, just a gentle tap. Six, five, four, three, Inhale, one, 
inhale, exhale, one more, and one. Good, let's just alternate here. So tap and tap, five, five, four, small back, three, three, two, two, one, one, perfect. Bring those knees in, tiny break. Crisscrosses next, we're gonna go through our crisscross, uh, probably about eight on each side. Then we're gonna do from a crisscross to a side um, line position. So just watch that transition when we get there. So we're first just gonna go through the eight and then we'll go criss, cross, and then you'll just turn and stack the hips, extend the legs, bottom leg can come down if you need to, then we'll come back in and go the other way. So just be ready for that as we get there. Shoulders back and down, fingertips resting behind the ears. They're not supporting the head. Reaching long through the head and neck. Keep those elbows wide. Back shoulder, front knee. Extend the other leg. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Squeeze that small back in. Good, you're almost there. Two more each way. And last time here, good. Now we go one, two, open up through the elbow here, roll onto the hip and extend. Whoa, I'm gonna add an angle and off my mat. So nice and straight, shoulders back. This hand can come down if you need to. Try to keep those legs extended and we're gonna go right back into it to the other way. Chris, cross. Turn, stack up, bring the hip forward, shoulders open, and back we go. Criss, cross, turn, lift that top leg, one, two, three, four, good, and five, and six. Here we go, tuck back in, Chris. Cross, turn, hold, get set up, extend, open up, hand down if you need it, and lift. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, last time. Criss, cross, turn, hold, Good, open up here, bring that bottom leg down, flex that bottom foot, keep the top foot pointed, hand down if you need it for balance. You can let that shoulder come a little deeper. Also, we're gonna come forward and back. Six, five, bend that bottom leg if you're having a hard time keeping steady. Three, point forward, flex back. Two, keep the hips stacked, engage that oblique. And one, crisscross turn, other side, criss, cross, turn, hold. I've got to scooch back a little bit to get that front back. Bottom leg down, flex that foot, point the top foot, inhale and exhale. Good, don't come unstacked. Two, three, four. Remember precision over range. Three, keep it precise. Two, and one, perfect. Come on to your back for me. Shoulders back and down, place the hands right next to you. We're gonna squeeze in through the small back and we're going to bring up one leg at a time. So the other leg can extend long or just stay there bent and bring one leg straight up. Nice external rotation, so my heel is facing you toes facing away. Squeeze that small back in, engage through that other leg, press down a little through your triceps. Perfect. We're going to just come down and up here and six, inhale and exhale. Five, four, three, two, and one. Now circles, inhale toward the body, exhale around. Six, Five, four, 
Inhale, exhale, three, two, and one. Reverse that, inhale away, exhale around and up. Engage that other leg, use that glute, really helps. Four, inhale, exhale, three, two, and one. Perfect, place that leg down, flex the foot, point the toe, come into the other leg. Inhale and exhale. Whoops, we went down and up first. Down and up. Six, five, four, three, and two, and one. Good. Circles. Inhale and exhale around. Six, five, four, Three, use that other glute. Two, and one, good. So from here, we're going to bring our legs up and over our head. So we're going to bring the legs right out to about 45 degrees, round up. So any osteo issues, osteopenia, osteoporosis, osteoarthritis, you're just going to kick the ceiling and bring those hips down. If you don't have those issues, you are going to use your abdominals. It's all abs, baby, all abs to bring the legs down, up, kick the ceiling, come through, bend the knees and round back down slowly. Pressing down into those hands a little bit to really control the movement. Ready? Go again. Inhale, exhale up. Extend. Bend the knees, but not all the way in. A little bit of space between the face and the thighs here. Pull those abs in one vertebra at a time. Coming back down. And extend. This time, let's try to keep those legs straight up and over. Lower them down. Drag those thighs right across the chest. Belly, 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 belly. All abs, baby, all abs. And again, inhale. Exhale up and over. And round down. Slowly. This time, we're going to try to touch those toes overhead. And then lift them back up off the mat. Down. Touch. Lift straight up. Six, down, touch, lift straight up. Five, abs tighter, use those glutes. Four, three, two. If you have one side that wants to come down, lift for the other one, and one. Now stay extended, use those abdominals, pull those abs in, and let's come down super slow. The straighter up your legs are, the harder this is. Slow and controlled. And release, extend your legs long, flexing your feet. We're gonna do the reverse movement here. So we're going to go into a roll up. If you have trouble with this one, remember you can bend your knees and grab behind your thighs as you come up and then extend long. Thumbs down, pinkies up, pull those abs in and squeeze the small back into the mat. That's very important. So again, we're articulating that spine one vertebra at a time. Anchor those legs, inhale, reach long. Exhale, tuck that pencil under the chin. Pressing each vertebra down into the mat before you peel it off. Come tall at center, inhale and exhale, reach long toward the feet. Pull your abs back in and let's go again. So we're gonna tuck, we're gonna anchor those legs. One vertebra at a time, it's gonna touch down into the mat. Anchor too much, moving my mat. <laughs> and arms up overhead. Flex the legs, anchor them into the mat. Inhale, reach one. Exhale, tuck, press that small back in. Slow, slow, slow. Stay rounded until you come to the top, then straighten up, inhale, and exhale, let's reach long, and stack again. Inhale, exhale, anchor those legs, 
feel like you've been scooped out right here by a giant ice cream scoop, right? We're just scooped all the way out. Arms extended long, shoulders back and down. Small back, mid back, shoulders, then head. Again, inhale and exhale, looking for that precision, that smoothness. Smoother than a fresh jar of skippy. Good, rounded, rounded, rounded. Shoulders stay back and down and let them creep up next to your ears and then reach forward. Good, that's four. We've got two more. Would you like to make it a little harder? You don't have to. You could even make it easier if you'd like to. So this next time, I'm going to extend the legs a little bit more and widen them. Sorry, my mat's rolling up. I think it's because it's sticky in here. So I'm a little bit wider than the mat and my toes are pointed. This is gonna make it a little bit harder to anchor those legs and work a little bit different uh, muscles through the obliques a little bit more. So see if that works for you. If it doesn't, bring those legs back together, flex the feet, pressing down through the heels, shoulders back, reaching long, engage the glutes, small back in, inhale and exhale, round it up. Oh, I'm having a hard time being anchored today. That happens. Inhale and exhale, reach long. We're gonna try it one more time, see if I can do any better. So I needed to use a little bit more of my glutes to anchor down. Again, we're gonna make this slow, slow, slow. And last time, even harder if you want, you can actually keep those arms extended right up next to the ears. I probably can't do both at the same time. So I'm gonna pull those abs in, squeeze the small back, point the toes, inhale and exhale up. Smooth, keep the legs anchored. Round it, make it slower, slower, slower. You're not up yet, not up yet. Inhale, exhale, now stack tall, inhale and exhale, reach long forward. And stack tall, grab a drink if you haven't yet. And we're going to come back onto our backs. For a little, a little bit more um, high hip action. So all the way down. And we're going to bring the legs up into the air, supporting our hips with our hands. So we did this a little bit already when we did, uh, when we did our single leg circles, we're gonna do double leg work here. So if you wanna just keep your hips down and your legs straight up over your hips, that works as well. Just again, this is a little bit more advanced class, so we're gonna take it up a little bit higher, literally this time. Inhale and exhale up, kick up. Hands come right, so I've got my hands on my um, hip bones here and my thumbs kind of around to the front. Once you go ahead and straighten up, let's bring the heels together, toes apart, we're gonna open, flex the feet, and squeeze back in, six, open, five, point long, four, three, two, and one. Now circles, inhale down just a little bit, exhale around and up. Now if your hips are down, the down part is gonna be the harder part. So you can go closer to the mat if you wanna make it harder. Four, five, six, other way around, inhale. And exhale, bring those heels together, squeeze them up. Six, five, four, three, two, last time, and one, perfect. Lift up just a little bit higher, and then one leg down, and up nice and straight. All the way up over the hips. One more. And one. All right, now we're gonna try a transition that is super, super tricky. Um, we're gonna bend the leg 
and try to bring that toe down to the mat. Lose the hands. Whew. Should have been a little smoother. And then the other leg, and then bring the heels down, and we're in a nice shoulder bridge. Come all the way down and then back up if need be. So shoulders are back, hands are just pressed down into the mat. Knees are about hip distance apart. And you're feeling as though those knees are being magnetically drawn toward one another. You're gonna find the work right here in your hamstrings, your glutes, and of course your abdominals. Inhale, lift a little higher, and exhale, we're just gonna come down slowly, press the small back into the mat, and then squeeze back up. Six, inhale, and exhale, five, four, three, two, and one. Stay at the top, just the right or your back hip squeezes up, six, five, four, make sure that other hip doesn't drop, and two, and one, other side, squeeze, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lift all the way up. Come onto your toes if you want without moving your feet. Pull those abs up and in, and we're gonna peel down slowly. Again, feeling like those knees are kind of being drawn toward one another. A little bit of knee pressure, we call that. Nice and slow. Inhaling, exhaling down. Lift the heels and flip over onto your belly. Little bit of back work here. So we're gonna do our swan dive, full swan dive into the, um, and then a rock and catch. So rock and catch into swan dive. So shoulders are backing down. Hands are tucked right under, elbows are tucked right close. Let's start off with just that swan dive prep. Pull those abs up and in, pull those shoulders back and down, inhale and exhale, just lift up. You don't even have to straighten those arms this first time. Squeeze between the shoulder blades, feel the work all the way through the backside, originating in the front as well. Pull the abs up and in, inhale and exhale, come a little higher. Don't even have to be all the way straight yet. And down nice and slow, easing into this. It's a bit of a challenge. And we're gonna go again, inhale and exhale up. You come a little higher all the way straight, shoulders back and down. Now I want you to lower down and watch this next portion. So this is what we call our rock and catch. So I'm up high here. I'm going to release my arms using my legs, glutes, whole body to push myself forward onto my chest and then come back up and catch myself with the hands again. So I want you to watch and then try it. Shoulders back, inhale, exhale, release and catch. Nothing, you can do it, ready? Go again, inhale, and exhale, release, and catch. This one always invokes laughter. Inhale, and exhale. Good, a few more like that. Inhale, exhale. And if this is not comfortable for you, just continue through that. Push back from all the way down and up. One more, inhale, and exhale, and up. Good, tiny break. Bring the hips back over the heels. Come back up and we're gonna try to do three in a row if you can, all right? So we're gonna come all the way back out. Again, we're using the glutes, using the hamstrings, using the entire legs. We're gonna go one, two, three and catch, all right? So we're gonna do two of those and then we'll be done with this, this um, swan dive series. Tuck the abs in, pull everything up and in, shoulders back, inhale and exhale up. Three in a row, ready? Release one two, three, and catch. Ooh, I didn't get very big at the end. And one more time, inhale and exhale, release. One, two, three, catch, good. Hips over the heels. Perfect. Come back up, one more thing. We're gonna go for a swim. Pinkies down, thumbs up. Point those toes long. One more thing in this position. I should always say that. You guys are like, one more thing. No, we're not in an hour yet. So we're going to do right arm, left arm up. 
and down. So I want you to reach long through the fingers and toes, and that creates the lift. So I'm not, I'm not lifting up, definitely not using the elbow. I'm reaching, and as I reach, that creates the lift. So again, reach to lift, inhale, use those abdominals, exhale, left and right. Now, we're gonna do 100 breaths of swimming, just like we did for the 100 in the beginning. So this is a big challenge, it's a long series. Take a moment, bring yourself down. You can stay in contact with the floor and mat, or you can come up and swim without letting anything touch. That's a little bit more challenging. So find what works for you, and maybe you do a combination as we try to make it all the way to 100. And I'm not gonna go over 100 like I did in the 100, all right? So shoulders are back, everything pulls up and in. Inhale. And exhale, reach long through fingers and toes to come up and then swim. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, five. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Pull those shoulders away from your ears. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, reach a little longer. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, halfway, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, two, one, reach a little farther, and exhale, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, last time, inhale, one, two, three, four, five, exhale, five, four, three, and done. Perfect. Clamshell stretch. And then come onto your side for some side planking. So we're gonna sit on the hip here. We're gonna come um, down on your forearm or up on your hand. And that is kind of completely up to you. Whoops, sorry about that. Um, completely up to you. What is more comfortable? We're gonna do a little bit on each side, then we're gonna finish with planks and push-ups. I don't have a clock in front of me today, so I'm hoping we're getting pretty close to 60 minutes. I'm usually pretty good at that, kind of knowing what's up. So we're gonna start with both knees down and stacked. We're gonna start by lifting the bottom hip. Inhale and exhale, reach up and over. Six, just tap. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good, same thing. We're just gonna extend the top leg. Shoulders back, inhale, and exhale, lift. Six, tap, five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Now, we're gonna keep that hip off. We're gonna move the bottom leg. So it's gonna come knee down, knee up. You ready for it? So we're gonna do, um, yeah, we're gonna put it in a combo. We're gonna go knee down. Let me show you. Everything's stacked. <sighs> Make sure this top foot is on your mat. So knee down, knee up, knee down, leg up. Join me, ready? Six. <sighs> Abs tighter, up and reach. Four and five. I think I started at six and ended at six. That's good counting. And six. And done there. Bring that hip down. Let's switch around to the other side. Stack both of the knees, shoulders back, nice and tall, like you've been lifted right through your belt, right? So you've got a big belt on and it's being pulled straight up toward the ceiling here. So just the hips up first. Ready? Six, tap, five, four, three, two, and one. And down, you know what's up. Top leg, can never get it right. Top leg is extended, and we're gonna lift up through the hips again. Six, five, four, Three, let it barely touch. And one. 
And then we've got our combo, knee down, knee up, leg up, leg down. So everything's extended here, except that bottom knee is bent. Try to keep them stacked and lined up. So I'm actually a little too far forward there. Inhale and exhale up. Adjust anything as you need to here. Reach that top hand up, press down through the top foot. Inhale, exhale knee, and extend the leg. Six, five, four, three. You hear my sweaty leg peeling off the mat? <laughs> and one, and done. Perfect, all right, face down. Let's set up for, yep, running out of time. Set up for our planks and push-ups real quick. So we're going to do a brief um, plank and push-up challenge. So your first plank is your plank. I want it to be your favorite plank. Might be knees, if it is, cross your ankles. Might be forearms, might be hands. Whatever works best for you. Just remember a plank as one long piece of wood, right? And it's going to come up all at the same time. The shoulders aren't gonna come up before the hips or vice versa, right? So that's what I want you to focus on. Shoulders are back and down. Engage everything before you even come up. Head and neck is long. Shoulders are back. Pull those abs up and in. Inhale and exhale. Bring everything up all at once. Now, let's get settled in here. Head and neck are long. If you're on your hands, you're looking ahead of your mat about 18 to 24 inches. I'm not looking way far forward and I'm definitely not looking way far back. Just keeping that head and neck in alignment. Shoulders are to the outside of the rib cage. Pull those abs in tighter, squeeze back and settle in through the heels a little bit. You'll find the glutes, the hamstrings, quads, everything working here. Inhale. And exhale, we're just gonna tap both knees down. Six, five, four, abs tighter. Three, two, and one. Come down slowly, bending those elbows right next to your rib cage. That's kind of your push-up prep there. Cross your ankles if you're not already on your knees, and we're going to do eight Pilates push-ups. These are tricep push-ups. These are a challenge. Tuck everything in, pull those abs in tight, inhale, and exhale up. Good. Making sure your hands are right under your shoulders. Rotate your elbow pits forward, squeeze your shoulders back and down, head and neck long. Use your glutes, hamstrings, quads. Here we go. Bend the elbows, keeping them right next to the rib cage, barely touch the chest and press back up. There's eight, seven, six, Five, abs tighter, four, three, two, lead with the chest, not the forehead, and one, quick, clean shell stretch, and then back out, plank again. So for this plank, we're going to put a little focus into the shoulders. So you can either tap each shoulder while you're up, you could tap out ahead of your mat, or you could go from forearm to hand plank and back to forearm. Your goal is to do six of something on each side. I'll do a little bit of everything. You can do that with me, or you can pick something and stick with it. Totally up to you. All right, so knees are fine to cross the ankles if you go up on the knees. That just protects your patella. Your weight isn't as much on your kneecap. If you cross them, it goes a little more onto your quadriceps. So. Shoulders back, everything comes up. Inhale and exhale, engage and up. All right, so a couple of options. You can tap each shoulder. We're trying to keep the body super square so I'm not rocking and rolling with those hips. All right, there's four. I'm gonna tap out now. And then your last option is to go down and up. and hold, get that plank right again, and lower down slowly. Nice. One more plank, team. We already did our side plank, so we don't have to do that today at the end here. So this last one is gonna put the focus into the legs a little bit. 
This one's a bit of a coordination effort. So you'll be up in your plank and we're gonna move our legs. So toes are um, flexed here, right? Tucked under. We're gonna come open tap up across the other foot, tap the toe down there, squeeze that heel up and replace it. Try it on the other leg. Up, open tap, across to the opposite side of the other foot, squeeze up and back down. Are you ready? This one's a good challenge. Fits right into the glutes and your small back here to finish up. Then we'll be ready to cool down. Shoulders back. Tuck those arms in. Inhale. And exhale up. Good. My belly stuck to my, my shirt is stuck to my belly. All right. So get settled in. Everything's right. Head and neck are long. Shoulders strong to the outside of the rib cage. Pull the abs up and in. Engage through the glutes, hamstrings, and quads. Ready? So let's lift that leg up out, across, tap, up again, and down, other leg, up, out, across, tap, up, and down, again, up, out, tap, across, tap, up, and down, again, up, out, across, tap, up, and down, one more time, each side, up, out, across, tap, up, down, last time, up, out, across, tap, up, down, Ooh, hold it, come down slowly, hover at the bottom, hold, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, one more breath, inhale, exhale, release, Whoo! I'm good and sweaty, team, hope you're doing okay, bring those knees wide, hips back, let your head come down, shoulders are wide here, Inhale and exhale. We're going to stay here just for a moment. I'm going to drag my hands back, flip them up behind me, and let my head relax a little bit more. Letting that heart rate come back down. Inhale and exhale. Again, inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale and exhale. Perfect. All right. Onto all fours here. We're gonna bring the back leg forward so the foot is right to the outside of the hand here into a nice runner's lunge. So you probably can't see my arm now, it's hiding behind my leg, but everything's kind of lined up there. Inhale and exhale, lift up through the back knee, wiggle that back leg long, pull the shoulders back and down and square your hips. Inhale and exhale. Can you straighten both of them? When my leg is this far back, I cannot get that back heel down. That is the goal. If you're more flexible than me, you can do that. I'm not all that flexible. Inhale and exhale, bring that knee down and switch. Back leg around. Inhale and exhale, lift up through the back knee. Uh, kind of wiggle back through that back heel. Shoulders back, square everything. Inhale, exhale, can you straighten both legs? Slide in, square the hips, inhale and exhale into the elephant stretch. So knees are down, hands are right where they were. We're gonna round up and the weight comes forward as we lift the knees. Inhale and exhale, round the spine, pull the weight toward the hands, hover the knees. Now straighten the legs, rounding, rounding, rounding that spine. Weight is over the hands. Now push the weight back into the heels, to straighten the spine and the legs. Bend one knee and then the other. Belly tighter. Don't forget that part. Inhale and exhale, walk your hands into your feet. And we're gonna stack back up nice and slow. Shoulders are back and down, round the spine. One vertebra at a time. Keep going, I'm adjusting my camera. Keep going, stacking. Breathing in and out. In and out, in and out, head and neck, come up last, perfect. I'm dripping with sweat today. This has been a great workout. I'm in a not air conditioned room today, so it's a little warmer than usual, but hey, I can't complain. It's a good workout. So now come to face me. We're gonna have those heels together, toes wide back into our first position. Inhale, big breath up 
and exhale down. We're gonna go again. Inhale, bend those knees, reach up. Good, reach up farther. Turn the fingertips away from one another. And I want you to reach up as high as you can through the arms first. And then lift your heels up and higher still. You can come all the way onto those stilettos or you can keep the heels together, up to you. Now, with resistance, so feeling as though someone's pushing up on your arms, we're gonna bring those arms down. Inhaling and exhaling. Feel your arms kind of being pulled from the shoulders and squeezing down, shoulder blades moving down the rib cage toward the spine. Inhaling and exhaling, stay on those toes as long as you can. Inhale and exhale. And that is your Pilates class today. Thanks for joining me. Um, look for a new class next week. It won't be quite as hard. That won't be the um, majorly advanced class. So hope to see you then. Look at that. Whew. Sweaty, hair's a mess. You know it's been a good workout. See you guys next time.